Hello and welcome to another MacRotation tutorial. I'm Hamid and in this tutorial I will be showing you on how to install scripts into 3ds Max. Now uh, I will be using 3ds Max 2009. Uh, that is the reason is because um, the script is only capable to run with 3ds Max 2009. Okay, so the script I'm downloading it from scriptspot.com. It's a straight and edge script. What it does is simply it will you have to like here we go here's an example in the GIF image it's not aligned perfectly you select the middle ones and then you select the last two using the tool and it's straighten it up so quite a useful tool uh, I think it'll help me a lot so when you download it you have to before you download it you need to look at this version requirements because otherwise if you start installing this in 2010 version or 2011 it's not going to work it might if you get lucky but uh, I don't think there are not many chances of it working so for this it's going to work in max 8, max 9, 2008, 2009 I have 2009 so I will be able to use this um, I'm gonna go ahead and start 3ds max at the same time and we can get started now okay let the 3ds max load right as soon as it opens up your 3D Max files, uh, the script files will be uh, .mcr file. That's the, probably the most common, um, common one that's used for scripting. Okay, so let my 3D Max load. There we go. Okay, so we'll go ahead and close this. I hate this will. I don't even know why they put it into 3D Max. Okay, so to load the script, we're going to run script. And then we're going to go ahead and search for our script, which mine I place on the desktop. There we go. S Edge or MCR. Open your script, and it won't appear straight away because we still need to um, uh, throw it into one of these toolbars. So it's there, but we just can't see it. We need to make it visible. Now, when you search through the category, you won't find it here because, as you can see, Spend to be in the S section, but it's not, it's because you have to go back to um, where you downloaded it from and look in under additional information. And here you can see all microscripts will appear under the veda3d.com or whatever. So, what I have to do is I have to go into category, look for veda3d, veda3d, there it is, and there is my script. Now, before I load this, I'm just going to go back into toolbar, uh, yeah, in the toolbar. I'm going to create a new toolbar. I'm going to call this toolbar downloaded content. Click OK. Here is my is the window. Now I will again look for Vida 3D. Remember you have to come into this toolbar section. Vida 3D, straighten edge, and click and drag into the downloaded content on wherever you call your toolbar. Close it out. And it might give you this error, but ignore that for now. Now to test that it works, I'm going to go ahead and create a plane and I'm going to, oh, okay sorry about that, I had to turn that call, now let me, now after creating the plane, right click and convert this to editable poly and select vertex mode and go ahead and move, I'll go ahead and move these up, uh, up and down. Okay, now that we've randomly place them I'll go ahead and control select these and then I'll use my straight and edge tool which I just downloaded and installed I'll select from this vertex to that vertex and there we go it seems to work well that seems good now I have a straight and edge uh, this is simply how to install the max script and how to use them you have to put them into these little toolbars or whatever uh, or you can go ahead and drag this onto uh, somewhere up here or something and there it is I can use it anytime I want or I can go ahead and put it somewhere here you know okay now if you if you don't want if you don't want to use the script anymore you want to remove it uh, you know just not show it anymore go and customize oh let me just bring that down customize customize user interface now from here uh, you can select the downloaded content and delete it but if you want to remove everything you've just done you go ahead and click res reset 
and it will say you know, you lose all your changes you've made uh, you, I click yes and there we go everything is back to how it was there's nothing all the things I've created is now gone and this is back okay and that's pretty much all on how to install the script within 3ds max um, please do comment uh, rate and subscribe to my channel uh, I hope this helped you out if there if you have a request on a tutorial or if you don't understand something up uh, missed uh, explained or anything please do let me know and I'll probably re-edit this video uh, so thank you very much for watching uh, Mohammed from Mac Productions and